up, everyone? Welcome to episode three of Gotta Watch Them All Lured Up. My name is Ken Pescator, joined by my co-hosts, Melissa and Adam. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi, Ken. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> What's going on? We are recording this. Today is uh, October 15th, 2017. We're going to do something a little different. We had the Lured Up format, the Pokemon Go spinoff podcast, to our main format where we cover pretty much all things Pokemon and then wrap up a Pokemon anime episode from the original series. We've decided to break off our Pokemon Go into Lured Up episodes. We were doing them once a month, but I think we're going to start doing this on a weekly basis. And uh, we picked a good week to do it because this is a very heavy news week and a lot of stuff has happened. But before we get into the the actual news, how's your week been with Pokemon Go? Did you get out there and raid at all? It's been a hectic week. I've been sick just recently. That's just recently. But... As far as raids go, I, I did an executor by myself. Nice. Dude, uh, I, I found f- that it's really fun to try to challenge and do solo raiding because uh, it's been it, – there was a sharp, sharp decline in activity in my raid group this week. I don't know if it, how it's been for you. Yeah, it's it's been that way here. I mean, honestly, it's exhilarating to try to beat a level three by yourself. I've been able to take down two Machamps by myself. Yeah, Machamps can go either way. It depends on the move set. But uh I, I've struggled with Machamp, but yeah, now I can I can take down that. But they, they'll yeah, the level threes are are fun and the good thing is you still have a good chance of getting rare candy and golden raspberries where in the level one and twos you typically don't get squat. I will say that I did do one Ente this week and I didn't catch it. It was kinda like last minute, but I didn't get any Rare candies. I didn't get any golden raspberries. You, f- you I got feel like robbed, right? <laughs> Twenty revives. I'm like, come on! I literally have like five revives in my bag right now. I'm like, I don't need these. Please get these out of here. I have so many max revives. <laughs> now we've uh, we went raiding today, and Melissa got her Pokedex Ente. Yes, holler. Woo! Yes, yes. We uh, we did two in a row, and it ran from her on the first one. But it did. It ran from me on the first one, but the second one was glorious. It was great. Yeah, it just it ran great. down the road. Yeah, it was right down the road. Thank goodness. No, it was cool. We went out and uh, we did some raiding, but in between the two gyms, it was probably about a quarter mile or a half a mile in, along like boardwalk of the beach in uh, in Bradley Beach, New Jersey. So we, we actually ended up walking down the boardwalk and it was cool because the the whole row of the boardwalk had some gyms, had some stops, but... Getting out there and just walking, the spawns were awesome. Like we had, we had good spawns. Yeah, today. we did have good spawns today. Slowpoke and Squirtle, Sandshrew, Ivysaur, Vulpix. Like Ooh. there, there was just random stuff popping up all over the place. It was, it was cool. Uh, Jinx was on yeah, the boardwalk. There were two Jinx. So we were seeing a bunch of uh, a bunch of cool stuff just nonstop, and it was like. It kind of reminded me there's more to this game than just raiding. Yeah, <laughs> you know, there's, exactly. There's, you know, it, it felt good. You know, I don't know when the last time you were actually out Pokemon hunting and not raiding. I mean, do you miss that? <laughs> no, my favorite thing, absolutely favorite thing in this game is to go hiking. Like I have a small little mountain that I like to just, you know, it's a quick 40 minute up and down. It's just walk that and the spawns aren't like super intense. You keep walking, you get one, two, and you just keep going. And then at the top, there's a Pokestop. And that's really the only thing up there. But, yeah, but that's rewarding. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like you can sit up there and enjoy the view. You can probably sit up there drop, and you can lure it for a while. Yeah, you yeah. lure it up, you know? And it's on a mountain. It draws Clefairies, Geodudes, oh, nice. Diglets, stuff that I don't normally see in my area. Yeah, that's well, yeah, That's, that's cool. what I was going to ask you. If you see different spawns there than what you normally see in your day-to-day yes yeah see that's cool. yes that's yeah that's cool. what makes it rewarding when you get to see the different that's what made it fun today was because we saw all these pokemon that we haven't seen in a while like normally we just see at least for me this is why it gets boring because it's just bureaus and spinarax <laughs> and murkrows <laughs> and weedles and Raditas and it's like oh really it's like, I see them pop up everywhere, and I just don't even bother catching them anymore sometimes. Yo, give me them Weedles every time. Oh, no. Every no, single no. one, no. every time. I'm catching everything. No. You crazy. And then I see a Butterfree, and I'm like, yeah! Come here! <laughs> Ultra Ball! Raspberry! Yeah, the, the, there was a nest that used to be a Shuckle, and then it transfer transformed into Chikorita, 
and now it's just a bunch of bug Pokemon. Uh, uh-huh. It's literally nice, Venonets nice, nice and Spinarak. I'm awesome. like, come on. Oh, dude, there's nothing worse than Spinarak. It's, uh, yeah, Spinarak it's is the so worst. anticlimactic. Yeah, so it was it was fun to get out there today. I'm I'm glad Melissa got her got her ente. Yeah, I would have cried uh, like a baby if I didn't. You know, we ha- it was cool because we um Melissa's brother Kyle came, and we're driving around, and I look in the chats, and the chats are like empty. And I'm talking, and I'm like, hey, I got, you know, we got four people. We're going to be in this area. What's going on? Silence. Crickets, right? So then I start tagging people and, like, asking, what's going on? What's going on? And we find a small group. We, you know, we don't use, you know, we've talked about this before on, on the podcast, but we don't use trackers or anything like that. So we didn't know where we were going. We were just heading in the, the general area of where our group usually, you know, plays. So... We're rolling out, we're driving through the town, we see an egg, you know, we drive up to it, I take a screenshot, and then that's when I put put the call out, right? So once I put that picture up, people res- responded, and we started, you know, we got, you know, six people together. And I come to find out that the local tracker, like the third-party map tracker it's, it's, uh, that, in, that people use in this area was down. So just because of that, it completely crushed the entire raid community in this area. And it's like, I couldn't believe how reliant the majority of the people are on those tools. Cause it's pretty corny. It's weird, right? Pretty corny. Yeah, we we literally just drove into the area and we're like, let's look for a raid. And, yeah. you know, went from gym to gym till we finally saw the egg. And it was like, when we saw the egg, it had 40 minutes on it. Yeah. We had more than enough time for people to gather and, you know, and get it, so stuff it worked and out and it was on the beach. So we parked, you know, and walked around. It was beautiful. It was really nice out there. were, You know, there it was, was nice. a butterfly bushes in this whole area. So there's like monarch butterflies flying around everywhere. It was like, this is awesome. Well, and it was it was nice because originally we weren't we were didn't think that people were going to get together. So when we got to the stop, I got out because there was a bunch of magic cards. Yeah, I wasn't even. And they get out didn't of the even want to get out of the car. And I get out and I walk over and I was like, you know what? Get get up, get out of the car. Come on, let's see what's going on here. And then we realized that there was a bunch of stops down on the boardwalk and. We just wanted to work it out. It was nice. Well, new 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 poker stops are always good, so we scored some good XP and uh, and all that. So. And then we had all yeah, those I, good I would, I always jump out for Magikarp or Pikachu. Well, dude, I see that on the radar, and I'm like, I'm gone. Uh, we, I need we my shiny. Never see Pikachu yeah. around here. We, Pikachu is so rare by us, and I've hatched so many troll standard Pichus. You know, like. <laughs> In the past week, it's like regular peach. Like it, it's so stressful. Like I just, I just need a shiny already. Wah, I have six two Ks <laughs> that I'm like waiting on. Yeah, I think I have two, two, two Ks in the hopper right now. So I've got a whole bunch. I just uh, need incubators. You need incubators. Incubators. But all right, so let's talk about this week in news. It was it was a big week, literally up to the minute here. Uh, it started with a couple days ago. There was a Taiwanese interview with John Hankey. I guess it was for some media news outlet, and they were talking about uh, the state of Pokemon Go and the future of Pokemon Go, and through some very broken translations and all that good stuff, we were able to decipher a couple cool things that John Hankey's saying and confirming that Gen 3 is the next big major update for Pokemon Go. Uh, you know, We were kind of wondering if it was going to be a battle system update or what it was going to be, but he confirms that it's Gen 3. The battle mode update is going to be coming in 2018. It was focusing more on community-based stuff, so it kind of leaned through the translation of PvP and continued support for developing in-game social features was a key to this, you know, kind of uh, long game with Pokemon Go. So, very broken interview with with all the translation and stuff, but Gen 3 was further supported by an update to Pokemon Go that started rolling out two days ago. For the 0.79.2 update, Pokemon Go Hub did a data mine of it, and Gen 3 is coming for Halloween. How do you feel about this, Adam? Are you are you happy that Gen 3 is the next update? I am. I'm super excited about it. It's going to be so nice to see the shadows. Yes. Or the silhouettes, sorry. <laughs> I'm so stoked for it. Well, it's like Melissa is is unfamiliar really with the Pokemon of Gen three, so it's yeah, going to be so really it's gonna cool. It's going to be so fun for me because yeah. I really like. I hope I get to see like new Pokemon that I fall in love with. Well, that's you will. Really... Yeah, there's some that like I, I think, especially with the way Pokemon are named 
and the the art style in Gen Three is definitely different than Gen One and Two. Like it's just it's a little bit of a departure. So there's some really cool looking Pokemon and some weird funky names that are going to be interesting to learn because <laughs> they don't really reference anything. When when did this happen? I think this was two days ago. And mind you, I'm on iOS and I still didn't get an update yet. But then just about an hour before recording, Pokemon Go Hub puts out a statement saying that 0.79.3 is rolling out. And this is for bug fixes and things like that. But I didn't even get point two. And wh- where are you at? You haven't. I mean, you're on iOS, so you haven't seen an update, right? Melissa's checking her phone no. right now to yeah. see what version yeah, she's in. Yeah, it says the last last thing was like five days ago. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's like... You know, I haven't seen any of this, but some of the cool stuff that was released or kind of uncovered through this data mine were this awesome new loading screen. We put it on our Instagram page. Uh, it features this big full moon and Gengar in the center, but he's surrounded by uh, some Gen 3 Pokemon, Ghost Pokemon. and uh, Duskull, Dusclops. Yep. And uh, a, Murkrow, a Murkrow trolling in the corner. <laughs> um, and a little Caterpie in the, in the bottom on a pumpkin too, which is cool. But we got that, and we also got... And I, dude, I'm so psyched for this, and, and this is a really cool feature. They have a Pokemon Go remix of the original Lavender Town theme that will trigger when the game is in night mode in the game. That's cool. So you, it has its own custom Halloween, like, spooky music. I have you heard it yet? It, dude, it, and, and it, you know, it's... Uh, they actually put it up on uh, the person that ripped the file from the data mine put it up on YouTube so you can actually hear the song right now. You you no, you said did you send it to me, Adam? I, I don't know who sent I did. it to me. So it it's awesome. I mean I love the Lavender Town theme anyway. So it's so cool that it they incorporated that kind of like super proud sounding rock themes of the Pokemon Go music in with the Lavender Town music. It's very neat. But I like it. Okay, it's really cool. It. No no yeah can it's I, super can cool. Can I find it real quick and play a little bit of it? I think we can, you right? So obviously you hear the Lavender Town theme. But then you get the Pokemon Go drums. Yeah, so it's like, ooh, gonna keep walking. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) I don't care that it's spooky out. You start doing like the the, like the power walk arm movements. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, this this really gets me jazzed. But I think it's a really cool idea. Oh, Uh, I love it. Yeah, I I, you know I I think it's cool that it'll trigger at night. Which is pretty neat. And then another cool thing that they announced was a official Niantic Pokemon Go AR photo contest. Did you see this? I have not, I but saw I'm it. all over it. So there's, they have some pretty strict rules. You can't have people in it, you know, no branding, no nothing that's recognizable. And they're doing 10 winners, and they're all, you can all win a uh, $240 valued Pokemon prize pack, including... A Pokemon Go Plus and some wireless earbuds and I don't know what else is in there, but so some an prizes. autograph oh, an poster. autograph poster, a poster signed by the entire team, uh, but wireless earbuds. But yeah, ten winners, and uh, I-, I love this. I think this is going to be really cool. And some of the ones are already posted up on Instagram. Yeah, it's an Instagram prize, so it's the hashtag Pokemon Go contest. So if you if you search on that hashtag, you can see all the pictures. But there's been some really cool stuff already, and. Uh, I can't hang. I can't roll. Well, with some yeah. of these. Great... Well, I mean, if they if they live in a landscape that looks like, <laughs> you know, postcards. Postcards. That's not fair. See, but yeah, but if I go like take a ride outside of my job and go to like the refinery in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and take a picture of like a coughing, that would be that would be hilarious. <laughs> that and would be great. Very appropriate. <laughs> See, I live in New Hampshire, so I just want to take a picture of like the fall foliage. Get something in there. I don't know. I think it'd be a cool mix, especially for the season. Well, yeah, if you get, like, a flying type, that would be cool. In the trees, man. In the trees. Ooh, a wild pigeon appeared. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you saw, like, a, like a group of, of, like, pigeons, like, feeding them at the park with, them, you know, throw some throw some bird seed down <laughs> and there's a pigeon there, that would be cool to, like, put it in the mix with them. But uh, I like this. I think it's a cool idea that Niantic is actually doing things to engage the community. That's always a good thing. Yeah. You're allowed three photos per Instagram account. So, got a couple I entries. I got three chances. Three yeah. chances to win. <laughs> All right. Three times the charm. There was uh, the rumor going around, and, and we did discuss this, I think, with the Pokemon Go cast guys, about 
the potential to see Ho-Oh in December with EX Raids. There was that Japanese Niantic support email that went out. You know, we all knew wasn't necessarily real, but we all kind of hoped it was. But it was finally debunked uh, on Reddit by Niantic George, who came out and said, look, we searched our system for all the outbound emails, and that's not one of them. So... So that was a farce for the So no Ho-Oh in December. The Mewtwo EX Raids uh, raid field testing is still going on. That hasn't come to an end. Obviously, we've seen a decline in activity with it, but it's still going. And uh, no Ho-Oh. So got him. Someone was like, got him. The whole Pokemon Go community, got him. (laughs) Everyone was like, Ho-Oh, no. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Adam, did you get a chance to see this Trainer Tips video that he called This Could Be Pokemon Go's Next Big Update? Did you see this thing? Yes. So yes. This was a great video. I do want to give uh, Nick from Trainer Tips some serious props because I really enjoyed this video and it's super well done. The, the, the premise of the video is him creating, and he does this with a graphical interface, like you actually see what's going on. He explains how multiple moves and different move sets and all these new mechanics could be introduced to the game in a very humble and realistic approach. And I think every single thing he shows in this video and demonstrates in this video is spot on. And I want to play that game. <laughs> I want to play that one. Like, what do you think, man? Do you do you think that it could be possible that they could do a four-move pool per Pokemon? Like, do you think they could pull something like that off? I think how he explains it, yes. Personally, I think three moves would be ideal because you have your quick move that you can just keep tapping ones that like i'd say you know whatever like the standard like aqua tail or whatever so it gives you two two charge bars so you can at least choose to use a a quicker stronger attack before your pokemon gets knocked out versus like continually tapping to try to get to the the full charge bar to use the big move what about pokemon that can learn moves that are different from their type so you can get some teach a fire move to a to a grass pokemon or something you know something crazy because he does address that in the video like saying that this could be a good tool with multiple move slots that you can have some diversity in the meta because you can have pokemon set up in different ways and you know instead of having one pokemon for one counter you can actually have one pokemon that may be able to cover two pokemon in the meta uh, or, or be set up to, to handle defense against two or three different types. Like, I, I don't know. I, I think that the game would be so much more fun with that much more depth. And, Melissa, we were talking about this today. We were, you know, at, at doing the raid, and I don't know. I cracked a joke or said something to the effect of... I said, uh, I'm going to dodge every single oh, yeah. time. I said, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this raid with, with my first Pokemon. I'm going to dodge the entire time. Yeah, I was like, thanks, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to let you guys do all the work. And then the other guy in the raid group said, uh, you know, you're not going to get any walls. And I explained to him, I was, just, you know, I was just kidding. But I do enjoy dodging because it gives me at least a challenge because I hate just standing there mindlessly tapping. Like, it's so boring to just mindlessly so she's, tap, So she's tap, going tap, tap. like, you know... Yeah, you know, I don't want to be there mindlessly tapping. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like, none of us want to just be here mindlessly tapping. Like, no, you know, no. It's like, it, it's it's gotten to that point where I don't dodge at all anymore. I don't care. I'll just tap, tap, tap throughout the entire thing. And yeah, because that one time you dodge, it still hits you and knocks you out. And you're like, ugh, gee, Unless you're Melissa and you start with a golem and she can make her golem last like three quarters of the battle. And I don't know how she does it. I, it's there. There, I have a <laughs> technique. technique. I have a technique. It's like you got to like, like tap three out. times and then dodge twice and then tap three times and dodge twice. But, I swear to you, it works every time. Yeah, but like even when you dodge an attack, you still take damage, which is I'm, why I don't understand how you can preserve. And I'm still getting tons of balls at the end of the round. Well, because your team you is, is pull, pulling your weight for you, That's not slacker. true. That's not true. Yes. I got my own, yo. I hold yeah, my own. She's, she's, I hold my own. Because she's on Mystic. I hold my own. It's because Mistake. she's on Mystic and there's going to be enough Mystic players. But ch- but get this. We did a seven-person raid today. There was two Valor players, myself and one other guy. And we do. I, I do want to talk about this other guy and because it's, it's, it's really funny. And I was just thinking about yeah. this, but I'll come back to that. So there was two Valor, one Instinct, and four mystic and valor took the damage multiplier got the damage bonus 
So what? you you and all your dodging there did nothing because the two Valor players but were, you know what? were able to hold down the whole raid. I enjoyed <laughs> doing my battle, and I caught the Pokemon. Well, I so... tapped better than you tapped. But... <laughs> you, no, no, guys. I tapped better than both of you combined. <laughs> you are the tap master. See, and that, yeah, did you the... see my executor that I caught? That was tough. First ball, no berries. I don't want to tap. First him. ball, no berries? First ball, no berries. You should have at least pineapped it. Nope. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> or, or berries. <laughs> straight, berries straight throw. <laughs> straight throw, no curve. Just, <laughs> just <whoop. laughs> oh. No, no, no. I curve balled because that's how you get that, that extra multiplier. This guy today uh, was uh, – I, I wanted to kill him. This guy today was trying to convince us not to throw excellent throws. He's like, don't throw excellent throws. There's a glitch in the system. You're not going to so catch it. I, want, oh. I, I, came to this, I came to this conclusion. I do a lot of raids. I, I play with a very diverse crowd of people, different age groups, different walks of life, different you know commitment to the games, all that kind of stuff. So – I, I've come to realize that whenever you go to a raid, there's always going to be like a couple different categories of Pokemon Go players that everyone's going to fall into. And I don't know where I am in this, but you have like the internet expert person. You have the person that doesn't understand type advantages and just picks any of the any Pokemon that he thinks are cool. That's like that's like Josh. That's this like my one's, son. This one's Doesn't, got the most CP. Yeah, it's yeah. most CP. Or he, exactly. Josh would just be like, all oh, legendaries. And it's like, all <laughs> right. <Raikou, you know? laughs> <laughs> you know, and then you have like the type of person who's just like always late. Like, I'm, I'll be there in five minutes. And then they get there 15 minutes later. It's like, I'm three minutes away. And it's like, really, you're 15 minutes away. But so this guy that's is me. the is the internet expert, right? So... You know, I, I stay humble. I don't like say, "Hey, look, dude." You know, I, I cover this stuff. I have a website, blah blah blah. I don't, I don't even go there with any of it. But he just was spewing. Just he wanted to be an expert so bad. I, I, I can't. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> and like, I saw him respond to my my post of the that he was on the way to the <laughs> to the raid, and I go, "Melissa, your favorite guy's coming." <laughs> The expert. Yeah, no, this guy, he's like, he's he grills so, me every single so time funny. I see him, and I hate it so much. Like, But he's, he was just like, you can't, you know, no excellent, you know, don't throw, you, you never catch it on an excellent, like, do this, you know, spitting out rules and, you know. Yeah. No berries. Like he yeah, wa- aim he, for nice. Aim when, for the nice. No when, berries. When he first walked up and, like, met up with us with the group, Ken was actually moving the car. So it was just me and my brother and Joshua. <laughs> and so I see awkward. him. Yeah, I see him come rolling up and I'm like god here he comes you know and uh <laughs> and he comes over and he doesn't even say hello or anything but he knows that we're we're about to play because we're all standing there holding the phones and there's another dude already there not saying anything and uh he just walks over and he goes level <laughs> I just look Yo, at him like level? what and he's, he goes level I was just like, oh, and I had to like look at my phone. I was, I still don't even know what it is yo, right now. I have to look guys. at my phone right now. I'll tell you, I don't even know. And I think I'm a 32. Who knows? Yo, level. And uh, hashtag level. Yeah, and then um, and What's then your he, level? and then I tell him, and then he just goes, "Who are you?" And I'm like, <laughs> and mind you, I'm, and I'm, I'm just still go, in the car. And I, I look at my brother, and I look you? at him, I'm like, what do you mean? Like, who am I? Like, what am I? Do you mean am I Team Mystic? And I just look at him, I go, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he goes oh, all right and then he just starts like spewing and, and, pokemon and as i'm walking up i see him and i'm like oh she's already in it with him i go yes this is great and the whole time i had to use the ladies room the entire time i had yeah, to, she had, you had to pee the whole the time. Entire time it was, it was so like an funny. hour and a half worth of rating with this and guy what's the bathroom scene like there well, dude, we're on the on boardwalk. boardwalk. We're on the boardwalk, so there's like little, you know, houses where you can normally go in. And like you know, all summer long, they're open. There's but, houses every but fifty like, feet. October first, the season ends. They lock everything up for the year. So we went to and like then, three buildings. They're all locked. She was and so then you pissed. know what? You know what pissed me off even more? I'll tell you this. <laughs> So we walk all the way down. We pass three houses. The guy, the annoying guy, knew that we were walking down the boardwalk so I can try and use the bathroom. When we see him down at the other one, he goes, oh, you're putting your guy in this uh, gym? I go, well, yeah, I'm going to drop him in here anyway. I was just hoping for a bathroom. He goes, oh, no, all these are closed for the season. And I just looked at him like... 
And I wanted to just yell at him, like, you knew? He's, he's an you expert knew. at Pokemon Go. Not you at- knew, and you didn't tell me, so I could have <laughs> drove down here. I didn't have to walk. Oh, so so let, let, let me let me tell you a little bit more about the, this guy and the experience, and it's, it's just so funny. Because we, we start talking about PvP, right? I don't know how it came up. <laughs> but he starts talking about, like, do you think that we're going to be able to battle over the internet, or is it going to be in person? And I start explaining to him, you know, yeah, it'll problem, sure, it'll be in person, you know, similar to trading and how I thought that, you know, gyms would be kind of like this global hub access point for people to engage each other with battling and trading. And he goes, oh, no, no, no. He goes, no, that's not what it's going to be. That's when they, they implement Pokemon centers. That's when the Pokemon centers come. That's where people are going to go to do trading at the Pokemon center. And I'm like, really, dude? That's awesome. <laughs> it's just like, how did so you mu- find this information? So, dude, in my local Facebook groups, they share these clickbait articles all day long and it's like i just post like the captain picard facepalm meme face you know like just every single time like why are people still posting this why are people clicking on this where it just takes you to these dead end news sites that don't really cover pokemon go and it's just spews fake it's it's fake news fake it's news. fake news you know what i mean like it's just it's so ridiculous and like people really believe this stuff it's like they're Man, desperate get on the silk road please Get, get real, but yeah. Just get so he, to one of these websites. Come on. So he, so he, out of you know the typical Pokemon Go crowd, this guy was the expert, and you know I'm sure in in many scenes, I don't know if anyone by you is like that, but there's a. It seems like there's always one. <laughs> there is. There is. All right, guys, you got to be using this one. It's super effective. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Like what team you on? Or organizing, waving his fingers and stuff. Ah, oh, it's just. You know, just, make sure everybody make sure that they use this Pokemon for he, this battle. He's, he's probably also the same guy that would say like, "Nobody hit okay. Nobody hit okay. You will have a better chance of catching." <laughs> you know, like that's that guy. <laughs> mm, yes. Oh god. Just let good. me play wait, the wait, game, wait. man. All right. There's there's six of us. All right. Who's team instinct? All right. You guys go in by yourself. Yeah. We're, uh, we're doing no, we all need to go lobby. together. We all need to go together. All right. I well, can't do this by myself. Melissa is, is hilarious in these situations because she has no problem just like chumping on some dude, like just <laughs> trying to like chump him down. Like Melissa's when very... people try to separate the group and there's not a lot of us, I'm like, yeah, so no, you... I'm just going in right now. Like, who's going in with me? Anybody else going with me? You're gonna drop with me going, right now. Right. Going, nah, bro. No, nah, nah, no, nah, nope, that's not happening. <laughs> it's so nope. funny. It's so funny. Oh, I love that stuff, but. Yeah, man, we had a good time with the game today, and it was it was really excited. And I'm super pumped for Gen Three. I think uh, I think this is going to be the little shot of adrenaline that the game kind of needs right now, and I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, we needed something new. Honest opinion: Do you think it's just the ghosts, or do you think we're going to get the full fledged thing, or what? Well, that's an interesting one because I, I've I've you know seen people's thinking it, it, it's going to be either what either or. I would be satisfied with just the ghosts. You know, because it's still going to be a certain amount of Pokemon that we can catch. But I can only imagine if if they do just the ghosts, the amount of backlash that's going to happen. I don't, you know, I'm pretty sure that Niantic would be prepared for that and say, hey, maybe we need, just need to drop everything at once so that people don't, like, self-destruct. Because, I don't know, I could see if they only do the ghosts, people just losing their minds and just being so unhappy. Never enough. Yeah, we're why, spoiled. What do you we're think? You think it's going to be just ghosts? I don't know. I I feel like it's just ghosts. Because yes, it's Gen three. Yes, we're well, getting the some babies new came out in December of 2016, and that was the first gen, you know introduction to Gen two, and they rolled the babies out, and then you know later they they came out with everything else. So you know if maybe they're going to follow that similar thing where they'll start squeezing a couple things out and. But like know. here, have a little taste. Let's be honest. We still don't have Smeargle. 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 My precious. <laughs> Smeargle. And we don't have Delibird, which, you know, I'd rather have Delibird than all these ghost Pokemon. Yeah, but you mm-hmm. can't sleep on Mew, though. You can't, you know, we got it. If we're, if we're going to Oh, right. About, yeah. You know, we still have a Gen 1 Pokemon that we haven't seen. And they we, haven't we, really, Mew. Ad, you know, addressed how they would handle Mythicals, you know. So is Mew and Celebi going to be their own thing? Are they going to do that together down the road or... Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? But and then we still have Deli Birds, Miracle, yeah. So there's four total, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So there's 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 there is room, but uh, Ho Oh, Mew, Smeargle, Deli Bird, 
Yeah, I mean, they really don't have a reason. I know that, like, yes, everybody wants Gen 3, but, like, here's some ghosts, here's a taste, and then that gets them through Halloween, and then, boom, drop the rest of it. Do you do that? And, and, and with, Suicune. With the Suicune changeover? Because uh, that's on Halloween. That's on the 31st. I don't know. And and the other thing is, are you going to expect us to see Cast Form and Deoxys? You know what I mean? Like, with, with the update that came out last week with those different forms... Like, I think there would be more that would need to happen to the game before they could release those Pokemon. So maybe, you know, you know, obviously Deoxys would be on a d- delayed rollout anyway, but Cast Form will probably be one of the Gen 3 that they hold back. Yeah, I agree. I'm excited for Gen 3. The, yeah, the, the excitement of seeing the silhouettes, you know, that's cool. I mean, like when Entei, when the first Entei raids came out and you would look at them, you know, and see the Entei silhouette, That's a, that was even exciting and that was completely expected, you know? It's going to be cool just seeing shapes that you may not recognize because you don't even know what the character image is going to look like. So you're like, who is that? Who's that Pokemon? I think is that I, a Voltorb? I no, it's a Dusclops. I don't think Gen 2. <laughs> what? I don't think I've caught all of Gen 2 yet. No, you, well, you still need a Tyranitar. Mm-hmm. What? So she, she, yeah. Yes. Dude, she still Get good. A Get good. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, she, we, we did one raid. That's the, See, that's the problem in our area. People don't do regular raids anymore. It's like... Legendaries or nothing. So, but we did one raid and it ran on her. And I thought you had enough candy. She's uh, close. She's getting close not. in candy. And she also does not have an Ampharos. No. So she's Damn, been walking. I'm, I'm in that boat for like a billion you, so. years. And I don't have. Uh... Adam, are you still walking your legendary? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm waiting. No, honestly, I'm waiting till I get the next candy, and then I'm gonna switch over to be able to evolve. Into my Ampharos. And then I'm going to switch over to Chansey so I can get my Blissey candies to power up my, my 100% Blissey. Yes, that's boss. That is good stuff. But I, I dedicated, I want 100 kilometers for my Lugia. <laughs> you, oh my you've God. got five candy for it. You could level up one time. <laughs> that's too much, man. That's that's 100 Magikarp candy. Yeah, no, I, I need, I, need um, I think... Eight or yeah, eight candies or ten candies. That's where I'm at. All right, so I guess we can wind the episode down. Philly Free <laughs> Street's <laughs> coming up two weeks. That's going to be awesome. But, oh, Melissa, oh, you I still need Porygon. Any, any Porygon. Oh, you got you got stuff. Yeah. So Melissa hatched needs them a ten Ks. Melissa needs. Well, she did hatch a Porygon today. I did. But you, but I only you have got forty candy total. I got twelve <laughs> candy for my Porygon today. But you but hatched then a pineco hatched, with thirty-two hatched, candy. No, 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 no. It was an aridactyl. <laughs> I hatched two aridactyls today. <laughs> it was like One such was, a waste of a ten k. Yeah. We were like snorlax. Furious. Snorlax. snorlax. I don't snorlax. understand why I get such crappy hatches. Like I just start recording all my hatches so you guys can just start put, laughing put at. Put together it. a fail reel. All, yeah. You can yeah, all, please do. I think I should because <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Who is this? That's Heracross. That's a regional. Do you do you have a Twitter? Uh, yeah, she does. I think I do. I think I have a tweets. <laughs> the tweets. You don't use I I it. But you should... Oh, you know what? I do, and I tried to sign into it. No, today. you should start when it's just Pokemon Go fails, and just post <laughs> all your. You know what? I absolutely will do that. Like when she's I trying will. to get into a gym and it glitches out. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, all oh, that, yeah. and every pack that I open that I don't get crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah non hollow. Yeah, just po- rare. Yeah, every pack you open. Only save the ones that are just awful. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm ready for Gen three. I mean, I'm only I'm only missing unknown in the regional. So unknown, man. I don't know. It's, it's a, I'm in the unknown. For a second, I my heart dropped today because when we were walking on the beach, the way that the the Pokestop was turned, and there was another po. There was what was it? Maybe an Oddish was popped right behind it. <laughs> it looked like an unknown. It looked like an unknown for a second. <laughs> Literally, my heart dropped down into my stomach, and I turned like I turned the map real quick, and I was like, "Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go?" Where'd he go? <laughs> and I was like, "No, no, no! I'm dreaming! I'm dreaming!" And yeah. All right, well, let's wrap this episode up. This was fun, uh, you know, breaking off the Pokemon Go stuff. We're gonna do this uh, every week, I guess. Keep it fresh with Pokemon Go, and and hopefully there'll be plenty of news to talk about over the next couple weeks as the data mine for the zero point seven nine point three comes out. You know, we have the audio files. We have everything. They just literally need to flip the switch now. You know, I don't know if they've introduced the new moves yet, but I, it, we're so close. I can, I can taste it. <laughs> I just want it. But tastes like candy. It, dude. 
Oh, and speaking of that, you know, what are you expecting on this Halloween event? Are you expecting quad candy like we had last year? No, nah, just double candy. Double and only, candy. I mean, that makes sense. It's easy to do. I've been – my Pokemon Go box is – my storage box is – Packed because I'm holding off on transferring because I, I want I want double candy, but they need to drop this soon because it's so annoying to have to keep slowly reducing my Pokemon storage by 20 Pokemon, transferring them at a time because I'm trying to hoard that hoard for that candy. <laughs> I know you, you you tweeted that out, and I was just like, okay, I probably should hold on to my guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah because you know you, if they're gonna do a candy event, you gotta you gotta milk it for all it's worth. True I'm story. like I could, I could get rid of this, this chikorita, but I also could save this chikorita. Yeah, just just hold get on. rid of just get rid but of all this stuff that is really annoying, like spinnerax. Yeah, just get rid of. All... <laughs> but if you're running Mercos. a thousand out of a Mercos. thousand in your storage, it's like it's annoying because you just don't. I don't want to get rid of anything. And I even did, I even did an evolution party last night, and I got seventy three thousand XP from that evolution party, which was pretty efficient. That was a good one, and. Wow. When I transferred everything out, I think I had trans I had evolved something like because I had some hatches that were in that lucky egg too, and I think I evolved sixty six Pokemon or something like that. So I cleared that space out, and then just from playing back out today, I filled the box up again. So it's just, can't escape it. Can't escape the storage problem. But they better bump that up too. That that's crazy. You have a thousand. Yeah, they'd have to with the with the new Pokemon. I mean. You just have to. Well, I, I, I'm going to start, ha- you know, because I'm running a living Dex, and like I'll, I'll have to get rid of that because I, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to hold on to one Oddish, you know, or, or one Paris. You know what I mean? I'm going to have to start getting rid of that stuff, which I don't really want to. But give me, give me PC storage, like in in the main series, where I can upload them to the cloud and have a fresh box or something like that. That'd be cool. <laughs> Bill's be PC. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Give me Bill's PC. But that's going to wrap up this episode. You know, we're going to continue focusing on Pokemon Go through this podcast, and then we're also going to be recording our standard format podcast, which will come out in tandem. So thanks so much for listening. Adam, where can they find you on the interwebs? Uh, Phoenix Back 4 Fire. And you'll find everything about the show at gottawatchemall.com. You can find me at Proud Gamer Tweet on Twitter. Uh, Melissa is just in here. The, you're just going to have to come back here. You're just yeah, going to have to find out if she gets yeah, uh, the, the Pokemon fail going. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got to start that. I yeah, think that let, would be, you I guys think let us know. Instagram let me know. Account. Let me know. Pokemon yeah, you're nice. Melissa's PokemonFails.com. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be very angry. You'll laugh. I promise. She gets Poke Rage. But, all right, that's going to wrap up the episode. We'll see everyone next week. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Chin chow. Chin chow. Chin chow. Oh my god. <laughs>